I'm in the Irish capital Dublin and on today's video I'm doing a food tour around the city. I'm going to be trying a traditional Irish fry breakfast, some Irish supermarket snacks, an Irish stew and a dessert from the Christmas market. So let's get into the video. So the first stop is to find a traditional Irish fry breakfast. I've heard it is not the same as an English fried breakfast. It's got a few different components. So I'm gonna to go to a local cafe and that is stop number one. I'm very excited and very, very hungry. So I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, so I've got my traditional Irish fried breakfast. It cost me nine euros 95 for four components plus a cup of tea. So I've gone for mushrooms, hash browns, beans, and white puddings. I've never tried white pudding before and it's a staple component of an Irish fry breakfast. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna tuck in. Okay, so I'm going to try the Irish fry breakfast white pudding for the first time. Here we go, let's give it a try. Mmm. That is really nice. It tastes like a fish cake. I don't know why, but that's really nice. I definitely, definitely prefer the white pudding to a black pudding. I do not like black pudding. I don't like what it's made up of. I don't like the taste of it, but this white pudding, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so my verdict on the Irish fry breakfast. I only had four components, so I don't think it's enough to really truly compare it to the English breakfast. I, wouldn't, I don't think that'd be a fair comparison. But from what I did have, I love the Irish fried breakfast. The white pudding is delicious, like so, so, so good. I was a bit disappointed they didn't have any soda bread as I've heard that that is, again, another staple component of an Irish fried breakfast, but I would give that a solid eight out of 10 and good value for money as well. Um, so yeah, first stop done. Second stop is I'm gonna go and head to Tesco's and grab some traditional Irish snacks. I've messaged some of my friends and they've told me there's some crisps and some drinks as well that are very typical Irish. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head to Tesco's now and get those. Okay, so I've just been to Tesco's and I've picked up some club orange and then two packets of crisps. I got potato and this flavour is salt and vinegar and then this flavour is cheese and onion. So like I said, when I messaged my friends asking what to get from the supermarket, potato crisps was one of the big ones that they said to get. So let's try the club orange first. I'm curious. So it's fizzy orange. Let's see if it tastes like Fanta or not. That's really nice. It tastes like an orange juicy Fanta, if that makes sense. Obviously Fanta orange is kind of like, how do I explain this? Like flavored orange. This tastes like orange juice and lemonade. Mm. I like that, that's good. I would give that a nine out of 10. Let's try the potato. Okay, taste test. Mmm. I mean, they taste pretty much like walkers, to be honest. I think they cost around one euro 20, one euro 40, which I guess is fairly standard, maybe a little bit more expensive than walkers. Let's try the other flavor. This is salt and vinegar. They are honestly really nice. I kind of like walkers, but a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, I'd pay the price for these. Like, these are really nice, good snack. So if you ever come into Ireland, if you come to Dublin, these are tasty. So yeah, really nice. Okay, so next up on the Dublin food tour is this pub here. It's called Oliver St. John Gogarty, and I've ordered the Irish stew, which was 18 euros 95, so very expensive. But when I came to Dublin, I knew I wanted to try the famous Irish stew. So here we go. It's a massive plate of food. I've got some potatoes here. And as we open it up, this massive bowl of stew. Look at that, it's absolutely ginormous. I might have to ask to take some of it away because it's so, so big. But um, yeah, 
Let's give it a taste test. That is good. Wow. That is delicious. It's like creamy. The meat's just melts in your mouth. The vegetables are delicious. Lots of flavour. Right, I'm going to dig in. This is delicious. And if you're ever here in Dublin, I'd highly, highly recommend you come and try out an Irish stew. I'm so glad I finally tried an Irish stew here in Dublin. Um, but yeah, let's go keep exploring and see what more food that we can find here in the city. Okay, so after having the Irish stew, I feel like it's time for some dessert. So what I'm gonna do is head over to the Dublin castle and go and check out the Christmas markets and try and find some dessert, whether it be churros or crepe, something like that. But yeah, I'm feeling like a dessert, so let's go check it out. Okay, so the final stop on the Dublin food tour is the Christmas markets and I've got myself a Nutella crepe. Now, Nutella crepes are my literal favorite thing to get from Christmas markets, so let's give it a try. Mmm, so good. This costs six euros 50. Not bad for a Christmas market. It's pretty standard price, so um, yeah, I'm gonna tuck in. Okay, so I'm now heading back to my hostel after a very long but enjoyable day of eating lots of delicious Irish food. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, comment down below and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.